The first multicellular unit we are going to have a look at is the transit duo. The transit duo supports dual cellular modems with redundant SIM slots. It has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz LAN and WAN Wi-Fi, which are handled independently. This means you can connect to two Wi-Fi WANs, one on 2.4 gigahertz and another on 5 gigahertz. The WAN Ethernet port is regularly used for satellite connectivity. It is a very compact unit, not much larger than a BR1, but with much richer features. The CAT12 version, which is available now, has worldwide frequency cover. Great for vessels with global itineraries. This model is also extremely competitive under the PrimeCare model. Transit Geo should be starting off for all projects rather than the BR1. PrimeCare allows for a much cheaper entry to market and much more comprehensive ongoing service and features. This allows you to supply a Transit Duo Cat 12 at a price point not much above a BR1. Some main benefits of the Transit Duo of the BR1. Well, the router throughput of the BR1 is 100 megabits per second and on the Transit Duo, it's 400 megabits per second. You've got dual cellular, one gigabit ethernet ports, the list goes on. So let's explore some of the features of the Transit models. What do you think some of the main selling points on the Transit range? Put your answers in the comments box. Yep, so dual SIMs, been out in dual cellular, so the, the Transit, we also have a CAT18 version, which is single cellular. The reason why the Transit is a CAT18 is only single cellular is due to the amount of antenna connections required for CAT18 modems. There's simply not enough space on the Transit for eight SMA connectors for cellular and two uh, Wi-Fi's and the one GPS. Secondly, there are different classes of cellular models available. The CAT rating determines the maximum speed capable per modem on the cellular network. Thirdly, the SKU includes, if the SKU includes the code PRM, this product is a prime care version. And finally, the cellular bands covered by each version listed. You need to make sure that the model you select covers the frequencies available in the region your client will be operating in. So to summarize the Transit Duo, it's a great entry level product, which has definitely surpassed a client's expectations when they're used to single cellular models. It's a compact model, and ongoing prime care subscription is very acceptable for MSPs. So we're gonna, gonna do a quick warm up question. Uh, if you have a user that needs to use cellular band seven, which is 2,500 to 2,690 megahertz, and band 28, which is 703 megahertz to 803 megahertz, which model would you recommend? So we've got multiple options actually. Um, so we've got the CAT18 version, uh, the category 12 KT version, and the category six PT version. Which one would you recommend for your clients and why? Uh, 